Hi guys. What's up? This little monster here is dying to vlog now. I don't know if it's because <laughs> we watch a lot of YouTube. I don't know what it is. It She's... is because we watch a lot of YouTube. Oh. So there we go. It's because we watch watch a lot of YouTube. So what I told her is, is that you have to have a, a bit of a story behind it and you have to have a title that catches people's attention that makes them want to watch your video. So what we're going to do on this one is a little more detail, well not a little more, a lot more detailed than what we did two days ago, which was when I put a little two minute video up about her using Sling and that Sling TV is so easy that a six year old can do it. So I don't have like screen sharing capabilities. <laughs> I don't have screen sharing capabilities with my Xbox One. I know I could probably set it up. Don't you're making me shake. The, uh, the the Xbox One. I know I could set it up, but I haven't. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get this camera set up. I'm gonna get it zoomed in on the TV, and I'm gonna kind of talk about some of the things that works very well and that I don't have any issues with on Sling TV on the Xbox One. Um, and then we'll also check it out on her Amazon tablet and on her Roku TV. Just to see a little bit of the differences. There's really, actually there's none that I can think of. They all work very well. The Xbox for me works the best because that's a cabled system and um, it's a very powerful system compared to these devices. But um, let's get started on this review. Okay guys, we're back. So we're gonna show you how to um do something like a big girl, like I did, okay? All right, so down here is my Sling app on the Xbox One. Um, recently, I actually tweeted out to them about the fact that they added the DVR feature. Um, they added the DVR feature last week during E3, and it really didn't uh, make it into the news at all, I think because of E3. Um, but here's a little bit of the interface here. So down here we have uh, our continue watching, which is stuff that we were watching recently. I was not watching these games. I was trying to watch ESPN3, but for whatever reason it did... Sorry. Whatever reason, the um, Sling TV played ESPN3, but did not actually play the playoffs game, which was a little upsetting to me, what that I actually had to do was um, go on the Xbox One here and go and download the ESPN app and then I was able to sign in with my Sling TV account and actually uh, use it to view the NBA playoffs. Now my issue with that is the ESPN app is garbage compared to this app is much much better. Um, so down here is favorites. I don't have anything even marked in favorites so there's nothing there. Now here is my DVR. Uh, the DVR is really good. You get, uh, I think it's 100 hours? 50 hours. So I get 50 hours of storage. Um, I do pay $5 a month for it. Mine was not in, not included or anything like that. Um, I saw it as an option and wanted it. So I uh, decided to get it, of course. Now, um, these are my favorite channels, um, which is actually what you saw her going through the other day. So I put, oh, of course they are. Um, so I put her kids channels in here and anything else that we watch a lot of, MTV, NFL Network, um, Spike TV, just anything that we watch a good bit of that I would want to have in there. Um, and it's super easy to do. You can go all the way to the end, click your edit button, um, and then here's a list of all the channels that I have. Um, I pay $55 a month. Uh, have like the orange package with a ten dollar a month package that comes with MTV and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so my total bill with the DVR is fifty five dollars a month, which is not too bad when you add in seventy dollars for internet. Um, so if you go to on now, that's just literally what that it is. Here's a list of sports stuff that's on right now. Um, some UFC stuff. They apparently have a poker tournament going on. Um, then down here is for kids, which is where she would want to watch most of her stuff. Um, then if we go to lifestyle, that's, you know, house hunters and stuff like that. Here's some movies, um, drama, news, and then basically everything that's on. Don't really know why they have that even listed there. 
Um, as you can see though, the menu is very fluid on the Xbox One. You'll see that it's a little slower on one of the other devices. Um, but I mean, I can flip through these pretty quick, randomly select, say, Spike TV, look at that, Forrest Gump's on, click it, you get some info, click it, and there you go, it's now loading, voila, Forrest Gump on, uh, Spike TV, did I call it Forrest Park? I might have, I honestly don't know. Um, uh, there's really not a lot to go through that I can think of that would... That would be helpful. Uh, you have, for, for most channels, you have a on-demand section um, where you can come and watch stuff that's from the previous week. For example, here's Love and Hip Hop, and it has, I believe that's the newest episode. We've watched 12, I'm pretty sure, so this one must be from this previous uh, Monday, last week. Um, it doesn't get updated that much from what I've seen. Sling says that it's 72 hours. I have seen it be way longer than 72 hours before something was on there. Um, it just really depends. The sports section is of course exactly that. It's only for sports. Um, I'm not a big sports guy myself, although I do enjoy foot football, basketball. Um, I don't, I'm not crazy about them. Let me word it that way. Um, now here's the thing, movies. They have all these nice movies listed, and none of them are free. Uh, let's see, John Wick is $5 and for the SD and $6 for the HD. That's not that bad. It's about the same price as Google is. Um, but from what I recall seeing when I looked through here before, I mean, these five no-name movies are free from this festival thing. But besides that, not a single movie in here is free. Like, for example... Here is knocked. Here is knocked up, which is I don't even know how old of a movie. Let's see, 2007, uh, and they want me to pay three dollars or four dollars to rent it. Yeah, definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> um, if I go back up to the top here, I can go over to my to my settings. Um, just my account details as you see here I have everything unlocked with the exception of purchases mainly because my daughter knows which channel she can and cannot watch and I do not want to be putting a pin code in every time that I want to watch something that's PG-13 so I did lock the purchases though so that she could not accidentally mess with those um, that's just support information if you're having issues Sling will ask for that I've never actually had issues with my service um, that's a DVR subscription to me I still have 79 and a half hours of 50. Uh, device options, Xbox One. Uh, I've never, I've used the Zoom to full screen. It made everything look weird. I would leave it turned off. Um, and here is the next part. High quality, medium quality, low quality. Now I put mine on no limit. Um, that's just because I like to have the best picture. Um, and that's where that I feel Sling runs into its issues at, is that people do not properly understand an internet connection. Alright, so, she's launching it on her tablet, which some of this you saw the other day. I have this nice, nice option, um, which is telling me do I want to watch live is the top one that you can't tell, or start over and close, and only pick watch, watch live. Um, and if this actually pulls in 4K, you'll see. I mean, it's a perfectly clear picture quality. I can see everything in it. Um, there is no surround sound. Let me repeat. There is no surround sound. That's my biggest issue with Sling. Hopefully they will fix that soon. But that's a great picture. If you can see this in 4K, it's, it's a perfect picture for you, I believe. Um, now, back to your tablet. So, just like on the Xbox version, she has her My Channels list up top. That's what you saw her scrolling through. There's a list of what um, what's currently on. And as you can already see, this one is not nearly as responsive. Now, uh, unless Amazon can send me an Amazon tablet that's really good, I've not found anything great about an Amazon tablet. And this is what I'm going to choose today. What are you choosing? Disney Junior? Why well, don't I have to... I don't think you clicked it. I did. There you go. Well, oh. <laughs> there it goes. And see, you don't really, you don't get that with the, um, 
with the Xbox. Also, do you see these loading times? Look at this. This is why I hate wireless. Now watch, I can probably, before this loads, it's still loading, so I'm gonna pull up Sling over here. I'm gonna go to uh, all the way over here to HGTV. I'm gonna click HGTV. I'm gonna try to get HGTV streaming. And look at that, I got HGTV up and streaming crystal clear well before it ever hit the Amazon tablet. Why, oh. I don't know. Uh, this is a Disney Channel she's trying to load. Let's see, well, I don't like anything's going to load on this. And see, that's just, that's that's what the people, oh, there we go. <gasps> PJ Masks, I love that show. Well, there we go. What I was about to say is that's what people don't understand is they get this $69 tablet from Amazon they put sling on it for their kids some of them do and then their kids complain that nothing works but what that they don't understand is that this tablet is, is not necessarily designed to really play something like this I don't think it's made to play little games and stuff but some of these video apps like Netflix just don't work very well on these tablets um, now I've never really played with this one let's see what we get so if I swipe up I should get the normal menu just like I would on the Xbox if I swipe up on the Xbox uh, control stick, I get a menu as well. This one's not nearly as detailed, but that makes sense because it's on a tablet. Um, here do I have my about channel, sports, entertainment, etc. You can pull it up more maybe? No, you can't. So with this one, you only get the one way. Um, it's a lot more limited here, because with this one, I can go like a step higher and just go right out of the menu instead of, you know going all the way back down um, this was something I wanted to see earlier and I saw that it was on here current bandwidth best quality no limit so it's not even telling me earlier it said I wasn't using anything um, now for example though this is frozen or did you pause it you didn't pause it yeah so see it froze and that's exactly what I'm talking about with these type of things. Oh, oh. Told you. You want to go try it on your uh, on your Roku TV that's currently in our room? Yeah. All right, let's go do that. All right, now we are in our bedroom. Um, this is the little one's TV who is currently grounded from it. We won't say why. But as you can see in the top left of the TV, I have a Roku Express. This little device was only $29. It only connects via Wi-Fi plugs in with a nice little USB cable so a TV and I will say it works pretty good um, I've noticed that if you leave your TV on for too long it seems to slow down um, but it still works really really well and as you can see here the guide menu is completely identical to the one on the Xbox one I think they're trying to make them the same across the board um, that way that everything is just the same it makes it a lot easier of course now in here they do have one other option this is what that I really wanted to show now in in the living room with the Xbox one I only have the grid view or the channel view um, but in here you can see this looks more like a traditional Comcast menu where it tells me you know USA has WWE raw all the way to 11 impractical jokers here and then impractical jokers at 9 and 930 um, I love this menu. I begged for this. I tweeted to them for this and they finally finally did it um, I don't know when it's coming to the Xbox one um, But oh wow, can I pick a date? Oh wow! See I didn't even know I could do that. That's a pretty nice feature I could pick any day like Wednesday and see what's recording or see what's coming on and jump right to it That's nice um, Now this is the channel view which is what that I have on the Xbox one not nearly as nice it doesn't um, it, it works you know that this is what's on now and you can see next to it it has a little bit of information saying that comes on at 10 p.m. but it just doesn't flow you know this this flows I look at this you know and like I said okay sci-fi South Park Tosh.0 Everything flows very well. I love this menu much, much more. I'll be so glad when they pull it to the Xbox One. Um, but as you can see, flipping through here, I don't really have any issues. I can click NFL Total Access. I can click the watch button. And within seconds, it's playing NFL Total Access. 
So, I mean, I can't have any complaints. Um, you know, this is a perfect picture on a not-so-great TV. Um, and I love it. I, I've not had any issues. I think it's great. Um, and I'll throw in a few more pointers of why I think it's the best here in a moment. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it. Now, what I was going to say was that Sling TV, I think, is the best. I compared it with PlayStation View. I compared it with DirecTV Now. Neither one of them had the channels that I wanted, and also to get the same channels that I'm getting through Sling, I would have had to pay more through one of those services. So that part I didn't like at all. Um, what I will say is that as long as you have a good internet connection like I have and you have the right devices like an Xbox One or something good that's not using Wi-Fi you will have a great experience on sleep um, it'll save you money I used to pay $180 a month with Charter I now pay $73 for my internet and $55 flat for Sling, which runs out to be $128 and some change. And once you compare that to the $180 I was paying, I'm basically saving $50. Most of that is on the $12 boxes that I would need for each room and stuff like that, that I no longer have to pay for and I can stream it on anything I want. That's the best part about it. So if you haven't tried Sling, give it a seven week trial. You may want to cancel your cable, so cable service after that. We're out of here. We will see you I next time. We do not have time because we are running out of space. Well, Who sits? <laughs> Hi. Cheese. <laughs> we really are legitly running out of space, so deuces. <laughs>